easy. James here. Now, this is a face you haven't seen for a long time. Um, it's been over a year, if I recall, since I last uploaded a video. And uh, to be fair, for me, it's been a pretty mental year. I've just had so much on, it's been ridiculous. I haven't had a chance to do any videos at all. So um, all those people that emailed me a bit concerned saying if I got bored of YouTube and not doing it anymore. That's totally not the case. It's just been, I've been so uh, insanely busy. I've, you know, I had personal problems. I've had stuff go wrong and it's just been crazy. But anyway, we're not going to linger on that. That's gone now in the past. Let's move on and uh, get on to some good stuff. Now, uh, basically what this video is actually about is I'm reforming my channel slightly and uh, I've made a few changes my regular viewers may notice and if you haven't noticed at least one of them by now I think you need your ears and eyes tested um, but yeah anyway so I've been um, making a couple of changes and I've been a bit of a busy boy and I've built myself a new lab so this is where I'm going to be doing most of my videos now um, I've got decent lighting, I've got a computer out here, I've got the internet, I've got a decent workbench, I've got all the tools I need out here and most importantly I can do work out here without shitting up my living room table and having to sit and eat dinner with resistors and capacitors in my dinner. So yeah, basically I've kind of built myself a nice workshop so I can do it all out here. Um, so I thought maybe if I do all my videos out here so I've put up some decent lights and uh, so hopefully it should be good out here. I'm not sure what the acoustics is like. I think it's a little bit echoey. I might have to build like some uh, that, some of those little sound traps and hang them up somewhere or get some acoustic foam. Um, I don't know how echoey it is, but um, uh, I think I've actually got a plug-in for Pro Tools which actually gets rid of mic echo. I might try that, see what that's like, if it's any good. Uh, but I haven't played the audio back yet, so I don't know what it sounds like. Anyway, I'm yabbering on now. Just get to the point. So yeah, um, I'm still going to be doing all my Technics videos, I'm still going to be doing music and DJ videos, but I'm just expanding my uh, videos a little bit to a wider audience. I've had quite a large request for um, doing electronics videos. Uh, some of you may know that I'm basically passionate about electronics, I love anything electrical, and um, so suits me down to the ground really and since I did those videos where I showed off some of my projects people have said oh, I didn't realize you know you was into that and I've had electrical hobbyists on my case to do loads of videos sorry that sounded really bad I didn't mean that how I said it then that was a bit harsh but yeah basically I've had video requests um, and uh, so yeah that's cool now also as well I've had uh, quite a few requests uh, for those uh, kind of screencasty videos, uh, like the one I showed you how to do the stuff in Audacity. Um, a lot of people want me to do uh, some more of them videos. Now, I did name that video Audio How To, and I put a colon and then the name of the video, implying that that was like a series of videos. So I might as well make that a series of videos, and I'll do a few more videos about Audacity as well. Um, I, the, the list of video requests is just unbelievably long. So, um, yeah. I'll start getting on with some of those. So yeah, basically just a quick video just to let you know what's going on. And uh, oh, one last thing as well, my uh, YouTube comments. Um, thank you very much guys for all the people that have left uh, some pretty nice comments. Um, the only problem is with the YouTube comments is YouTube is pretty pants at managing the uh, comments. It will post in my inbox, say I get like five comments on one video, it will post the first one in my inbox, all the rest of them, it doesn't let me know, okay? So I have to go down and find six months later that somebody's left a comment that it hasn't alerted me about. And that's really starting to piss me off. It's been like that for a while now. So I'm gonna have to try and sort that out and work out a way that I can get to reply to all my comments. And um, Yahoo as well, incompetent idiots, have lost loads of my emails. I transferred a lot of my emails over to a Yahoo account just so I could help to manage them and uh, they screwed my account up and lost all my emails uh, and what's more they said there's nothing they can do they're all gone forever so yeah thanks a lot you bunch of bastards so there yeah, they're all gone now so i'm a bit peeved about that so that's another thing that's just kind of annoyed me a little bit and got to me but um anyway i will get all that sorted out get all that ironed out and uh, there you go so i won't be uploading videos like you know daily or anything like that don't expect that i'm going to be able to do that because i'm quite a busy bloke but um you know i like to think of sort of 
quality over quantity. So I may also be removing some of my older videos. None of the Technics ones or anything like that, don't panic, but some of the ones like the eBay sales videos and stuff, it's like, ah, what's the point? I ain't even bothering. So uh, I'm just gonna remove some of them ones because they're pants and I've sold the item now, so what's the point? So yeah, anyway, quality over quantity is what I'm gonna go for. Oh, and actually, while I'm on the subject of the eBay thing, I'm not really gonna be selling much more things on eBay, just because the only reason I did it is because I had a couple of bits to flog. The rest of it's all junk. Honestly, you don't want it. It's all junk. It's gotta go in the bin, and I have actually gotta have a big clear up because I've got so much garbage around this place, and it's all just gotta go, basically. So uh, I'm gonna have a bit of a clear up as well. When you do have a clear out, you do happen to find some little gems sometimes, and. Uh, I did happen to find this little uh, induction motor when I was clearing out my garage and uh, I've got a project in mind, this might be just a ticket and uh, it works as well. It's a talky little thing actually. So yeah, that's cool. It's a good find. So thanks again to all the people that have subscribed. I don't know how many I've got now, I haven't checked recently, but um, if you are one of my subscribers, thanks a lot for subscribing and I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate all your comments as well. So uh, thanks for that and I uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Thank you for watching, nice one.